History Zikwaki. The Waki people belong to an ancient Iranian stock of people, whose language Waki is the most primitive form of Persian, still spoken and differs from the Tajik language. They have a rich folklore of songs and tales, with their language now written in an Arabic form. The common identity of the Wakis, is a religious heritage dating from the beginning of Islam. In the early 20th century, two complete handwriting of the Persian original text it, um al kitab were found in the Wakan corridor, proving to be of an Arabic text originating from 8th century Iraq. More recently the Wakis converted to Ismailism and follow the spiritual leader of the Ismailis, Prince Karim Aga Khan. Due to the influence of the present Aga Khan, and his humanistic Western approach to the Ismaili faith, there is a liberal attitude towards the Quran, and a general acceptance and openness towards the scriptures in general. The story of the Waki's migration to their present places of habitation is interesting. As a people they had always been content with the scarce resources, they had and had never looked beyond their borders for shelter on political, or religious grounds. The Wakis though found themselves in trouble by the second half of the 19th century, with the first refugees crossing into Chitral in 1886, due to an unknown cause. The next major migration occurred from 1919, probably due to the general effect of war, famine and mass people migrations resulting from the Bolshevik takeover of Central Asia. The final migration did not take place till 1937, due to pressures and persecutions from the rulers in Afghanistan compulsory recruitment of Wakis into the army. The Wakis still live as semi-pastoral society, depending largely on agriculture and cattle raising. This however has been seriously disrupted by the upheavals of occupation, and now civil war in Afghanistan and Tajikistan. Maybe this is one of the primary reasons for the Waki people in Chitral, the Wakan Corridor and High Pamir, to now be reported to be widely addicted to opium. This has had disastrous effects on health and income generation. The only place where the Waki people have developed and prospered has been in the Gojal region, of the upper Hunza Valley. Here they predominate and live at unity with their fellow Ismaili Hunzakot neighbors. Benefiting greatly from contact with this progressive people group and the business, and tourist opportunities presented by the Karakoram Highway now linking Pakistan with China. The Waki language belongs to the southern group of the Pamir languages, in the Iranian group of the Indo-European family of languages, where the different Ishkashmi and Waki languages are included. The Waki language, rich in archaisms, differs considerably from the Pamir languages, and generally from the southeastern group of Iranian languages, having certain common characteristics with the Indian languages. Although divided by borders, the Waki language is still very much the same, and dialectal differences are not great. The language of mutual communication, and the written language, for the Ismailites of the small nations of Pamir has been the Tadzik language. The Waki oral tradition is also bilingual, Waki and Tadzik. On the upper Wakandaria, there are noticeable Turkic influences in place names. Waki Kyrgyz contacts are maintained even today. Many Waks also speak the Shunyi language. The Waki folk song Bulbulik is principally a women's song, it is sung on the summer pastures. Before the establishment of the Soviet regime, the Waks were almost totally illiterate. Nowadays, schooling is obligatory for everyone. The language for schooling is, without exception, Tadzik, which places Waki in a passive role and accelerates the disintegration of the language. In domestic situation, however, Waki is still preferred, whatever the subject, although most Waks speak Tadzik quite fluently. Badakhshan Tajikistan. Badakhshan, Autonomous Region, 1991 Est. Pop. 167,100, 24,600 square miles, 63,710 square kilometer, Tajikistan, in the Pamir. It is bordered by China, on the east and by Afghanistan, on the south and west and is separated from Pakistan and Azad Kashmir, by a narrow strip of Afghan territory. The eastern section, East Pamir, is a high plateau, and the western part, West Pamir, is cut by high ranges and deep, narrow valleys. Kora is the capital. The population is mainly Tajik, with small Kyrgyz and Russian minorities. Gold, salt, mica, limestone, and coal are mined. In the east livestock is raised, yaks, sheep, cattle, and goats, and in the western valleys grain, vegetables, and beans are grown. Formerly under the control of the Mongols and the Arabs, the region passed to Russian control in 1895. The area became the gorno badakhshan Autonomous Region in 1925. It was sometimes formerly known as Mountain Badakhshan. Toshkuren, Xinjiang, China. The Wakis reside in relative isolation in the glacier-capped Pamir Mountains of West China, near the borders of Afghanistan, Pakistan and Russia. 
Towering mountains surround this specially designated Tajik district on three sides and desert on the fourth. The largest concentration of Tajiks live on the edge of Tashkorgan, a small town population 5,000 that lies 10,000 feet above sea level on the outskirts of a large glacial valley. Tashkorgan is located just off the historically famous Silk Road, an ancient trade route between China and Central Asia. It is a full day's bus ride from Kashgar, the nearest Chinese city. Gojil, Pakistan. Close to the Chinese border, moving north from Gilgit region, is the largest tessel of the northern areas of Pakistan, commonly known as Gojil. It is also known as Upper Hunza. Gojil, basically, is a network of small and large valleys sharing borders with Hunza in the south, China in the north and east, and Afghanistan in the northwest. Shishgat is the first village of Gojil. Except for the Shimshal, Misgar and Chipperson valleys, all villages of Gojil can be seen while traveling on the Karakuram Highway. The Karakoram Highway KKH, crosses Gojil entering China at the Kunjarab Pass linking Pakistan to China and, in the future, other Central Asian states such as Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan. People have migrated into Gojil from Wakhan, parts of China, like Ruskam, and Hunza Valley. The current demographic trends of the region are, somehow, reflected in the table provided below. Historically the people were shepherd and or small-scale farmers. But with the passage of time services industry has taken the lead and now most of the people are employed in the government and non-governmental organizations. A significant number of the locals is also engaged in trade. History. There is no written history about the earlier settlement of people in Gojil Valley. Different valleys and villages in Gojil were settled during different times and people from different surrounding regions. Most of the researchers are in view that initially the Kyrgyz nomads were using the areas in Upper Gojil as winter pastures. It is said that later on when Wakis migrated from Wakhan to this region the Kyrgyz nomad left. It is very difficult to say anything about when the Wakis settled in Gojil. However, it is narrated that the earlier Waki migrated from Wakhan and settled in Ishkuk Chapursant Valley and later to Boiber areas. It is also narrated that when Hunza was under the central government of Gilgit, the Ishkuk settlement was very wealthy and regularly paying tax in terms of cattle, and other dairy products to the Raja of Gilgit. As Hunza emerged as an independent state during the early 15th century, so it can be inferred that different valleys in Upper Gojil, were inhabited by the Waki-speaking migrants, even before emergence of the Hunza state. Later on, the oral history narrated holds, a catastrophic flood destroyed the Ishkuk settlement during 18th century. It is commonly believed that the first settler in Avgarch Valley was the legendary Baba Sufi, who came from Goron of Badakhshan in Afghanistan, traveling along the Amu Darya or Oxus, river. He is said to first have settled in Sost, but soon moved to the more secluded and secure Boiba Valley where he made Avgarch his permanent home. As the population grew, people spread out and moved down to Galapan, Gurcha, Sartiz, Jamalabad, Morkan, Nazimabad and Sost, all of which comprise the Avgarch Valley. The local people affiliates are Old House in Sost with the Raja of Gilgit Thra Khan 1310, which was preserved by AKCSP. If this old house is really of the time of Raja Thra Khan then this house is older than that of the creation of Hunza state and is older than Altit and Baltit forts. Geography Geographically Gojil is located between 70 latitude and 61, and is spread over an area of 8,500 square kilometer of land, at an elevation ranging from 2,340 meters to 4,877 meters, above the sea level. Gojil is a mountainous region forming the western part of the Karakoram, and eastern Pamir mountain range, this area also hosts the 65 kilometers long Batura Glacier, the longest of Pakistan after Siachen. The region is home to lofty ice-capped peaks, roaring rivers, lush green pastures and long glaciers. Villages Main villages include Shishkat, Gulmit, Gulkan, Kumaris, Husseini, Borath, Pasu, Shimshal, Khyber, Garlapan, Morkhun, Jamalabad, Gurcha, Sartiz, Sost, Kudabad, Musgar, Yatsarech, Ramanj, Kerman, Rishitkil, Shursabs, Ispenj, Shitmerj and Zudhun. Gulmit is the capital of the Gojil Tessel, in the upper Hunza region of the Gilgit territory in the northern areas of Pakistan. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to like Shireen Gojil page. And don't forget to subscribe Shireen Gojil.